tells us you are interested in two things. Firstly, you're interested in professional development, and secondly, you're interested in business English. And uh, what also uh, I found surprising was that um, only I think three people in the in the room knew about IATF and were members. And uh, I have to tell you that I was lying that as well until about three years ago. And uh, really by accident I found out about IATF and IATF and BC uh, and what it can give me and not only me but other, other people as well. So uh, just a very few uh, words on, on um, uh, how the whole thing works and what you can get uh, by, by uh, looking a little uh, further than just your local teachers association which in this case would be ELTA. Uh, so IFFL uh, stands for the International Association of Teachers of English as a Foreign Language and, um, and that's exactly what it is. It helps EFL teachers uh, with their work. Um, IFFL is organised into different uh, country teaching associations. So for example, LK is the Serbian Teaching Association, which is an associate of IFFL. There are uh, corresponding associates in Croatia, in Hungary and all the other countries. But that's not the only level uh, at which IATF is organised, because we as teachers have different interests. Some of us are interested in pronunciation, some of us are interested in learning technologies, some of us are interested in um, uh, management and um, uh, leadership. And in order to accommodate for these different interests and different needs, uh, IATF um, has 14 SIGs. A SIG is a special interest group. And uh, they focus on these different uh, areas that uh, we as teachers uh, would like to find out more about and need help in. Um, with about 700 members, ITEFL BSIG is the largest uh, SIG within ITEFL and also the most active. Um, I found out about ITEFL BSIG at an ELTA conference almost by accident and found that uh, it could give me something that ELTA didn't give me, and that's a focus on business English. And when I became a member, I realized that uh, most of the stuff that ITF and BC offers is actually for free. But there are some benefits if you join as well. So, uh, Gar has mentioned this before, uh, and he said that, um, actually, this bit he did, uh, uh, ITF and BC organizes two um, annual conferences. One is the annual conference, uh, which, was in this, which was this year, actually last year, held in Dobrovnik, and is held every November. The other annual event is the Summer uh, Symposium, uh, which will be held in Paris um, this year, and by the way, the annual conference will be held in Stuttgart in November again. Uh, the Paris event is in June. Um, those are the face-to-face -face meetings. Uh, we occasionally organise such events as this one, so workshops and so on, but there is much more to it. And the good thing is, especially for people who come from a country that, um, uh, well, from a country which isn't very rich and where teachers find it difficult to travel to faraway conferences, and there's the online element. And uh, that's probably what has held in the last uh, two years, year and a half, uh, ITFL BSIC become. Uh, this um, uh, strong, strong in terms of membership, and that is that we are in, in all parts of different, uh, all different parts of the world, uh, in South America and in Asia, and most of us are though based in Europe. Uh, but the internet connects us, and uh, we organise um, monthly online workshops. We call them weekend workshops because they are all, always on Sundays, and these are free for everybody. So uh, if you get the link, all you need is really the URL and you can join and you can attend um, a one hour workshop on an event, oh sorry, on a topic. Um, a lot of people I have found, and I was one of them, uh, are not really comfortable doing these things online because they just think that it's inferior to doing the same thing face to face. Um, but the good, thing, the good news is that we use, uh, through ITEFL, we use uh, Adobe Conference Room, which is a program that um, actually is an application that allows you to uh, take part in these uh, online workshops. What does it look like? There is a big large window in the middle for the slides which the presenter provides you with. So, just like here, there are the slides. There is a smaller window where you can see the presenter, so you can see Carl sitting at his computer and uh, telling you whatever he's telling you. 
Um, and there's also a smaller window where you can see who is present, who attends the workshop, so you can see each other. And also a chat uh, box where you can contribute, so you can ask questions, you can answer qu uh, the questions that the presenter poses, and so on. So it's just a different channel, a different way of doing the same thing that we are, we are doing now here face to face. Uh, the only benefit in this term, or, or in these terms, of joining ITF and BSTIC is that uh, you have access to the now uh, considerable archive uh, which we have built up in the last uh, year and a half. Uh, the, archive, the advantage of the archive is that if you cannot make it and attend uh, the online workshop on the Sunday for which it is organized, uh, you can just uh, log on later on as a member and uh, watch, uh, watch the, the recordings on whichever topic you're interested in. And there are loads and loads of topics. Uh, we also have uh, online webinars, which is uh, a little different, and, um, but we also use the same uh, application, so you can take part, you can contribute, you can uh, find out what, what, people are, uh, what, what people are saying in, in different areas of business English, so whether it's um, intercultural communication, whether it's classroom management, uh, you name it. Uh, now, the good news is that uh, hopefully in the next well, I'm a little reluctant to, to give you a number, but I would say in the next few months, um, ELTA is looking uh, for, looking into starting its own BC, its Business English C, which uh, would mean that there is a, a, a Business English a hub within ELTA, an organization, a special interest group, through which you could attend workshops, you could um, uh, uh, be involved in professional development. Um, I have left a brochure on uh, all the desks, and I have left a few more if you want to take them for your colleagues uh, here at the, at the desk, and also my uh, business card. Uh, you also have, actually you all have my email address, and you can contact me on the BSIC address, BSIC email address. But, uh, here are the, the other ones as well. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, if you would like to find out more about uh, how, how ITFL BSIC works, uh, what uh, the news are on the uh, Elta BC front and so on, uh, feel free to contact us. And by the way, feeling free to contact us, uh, you can just uh, talk to Carl or, or myself in the break. Uh, feel free to come up to us. And that's actually one of the huge differences I have noticed when I became an ITFL member. Living here, uh, my experience was that people are not always very approachable. They're not always very friendly. Especially if it's somebody whom you perceive as high status, somebody who is a, a, an established author, they might not always want to talk to you. And the first thing when I, when I attended an ITF for BC conference that struck me was that it's the complete opposite. So when you go to a conference, you can uh, mingle with and chat to people and even ask for advice. Uh, people who, who are established authors uh, who uh, have been teaching business English for ages and they will be happy to help you. They even give you their email addresses and you can correspond with them if you have a question or something. You have to do that. Another uh, such tool that you can use, and I'm getting back to the online component of it all, is uh, the name. As Carl said earlier, on the name you pose a question and people who know anything about it will be more than happy to share. Carl mentioned sharing and holding on to things, and Tony earlier mentioned sharing and holding on to things. Uh, what we realize in ITFL Beasting, and that's how it really functions, is that by sharing, we all get richer. We won't lose out if we share what we know, we share our experience with others, and that's exactly what makes the SIG so successful.